In this session, we will try to find the natural frequency of the system. If you will closely observe the system, this is a pin joint. And we, we have already discussed in our previous video, when we are having a member with a pin joint and a mass attached, the member is not acting like a beam because there is no bending resistance available in the beam. If this joint would have been a fixed joint, in that case, this member would have acted as a beam. Second, in the given problem, the beam is or the member is massless. Please remember, this is a massless member connected with a pin joint. We are having a mass connected at the end and there are two springs and both these springs are connected with equal interval of L by 3. And we, we, we need to find the natural frequency of this system. For such system, we can either apply the Newton's law approach or the energy approach to find the natural frequency. In case of force method or the Newton's law approach, what we do, we simply say that the mass into acceleration is going to be sum of all the forces. Or if we are using the rotational coordinate as the generalized coordinate, we can also write that the I theta double dot is going to be balanced by all the moment in the system. When we apply the energy method, what we do, we write the total energy. For example, we are having a system where there is a mass and the spring. So total energy will be half kx square, which is going to give me the potential energy stored in the spring plus half m x dot square where x dot is the velocity of your mass so this second approach basically deal with the scalar quantity and then what we do we do the differentiation of the total energy as we know that the total energy will be a constant quantity its differentiation will be zero and using this concept we can get the governing equation of motion of the system or we can also get the natural frequency similarly we can get the governing equation here and the natural frequency so for the given problem i am going to explain the solution of this problem using both the method first we will see the solution using the newton's approach so when we apply the newton's approach as i said we can either use the x as a generalized coordinate or the theta in the given case when the mass will vibrate it will move in the vertical direction and if the mass has moved with an amount of x this member will also have a rotation theta so we are having choice either we can use the x as the generalized coordinate it can and we can write our entire equation or we can also use the theta but i would recommend to use the theta as a generalized coordinate when we will use the theta we will be able to correlate the deformation of the two spring because we know that the theta can be directly related with the x as x is equal to what x will be l theta similarly the spring will have some deformation and let's say this is deformation is x1 we can write that x1 will be what 2l by 3 theta similarly the if the second spring is having a deformation x2 i can say that x2 will be l by 3 theta so here i am going to use theta as my generalized coordinate and i know that i theta double dot is going to be balanced by all the moment here we need to understand what will be the sign convention so please remember this is nothing but your newton's law in the rotational coordinate or we can also say that this is related to the d lambert principle i have not said anything about the d lambert principle but if you will go and see the de in detail the d lambert principle it is nothing but the related to the newton's law so here i theta double dot is representing your inertial part and the acceleration and if i am assuming that the mass is moving in the downward direction i will say that the rotation is in the clockwise sense this is just my convention if you will go and you will see a book you will find a different type of convention but to understand the problem and to get the right answer what i do i consider that if mass is going in the clockwise direction my acceleration is in the clockwise sense so when i will write all the moments so let me make the free body diagram here there are two forces are acting one is the force because of the spring one that is let's k x1 and second force which is also acting in the upward direction that is what k x2 and this is my point of interest so the moment because of these two forces is counterclockwise sense so that means if the moment is not in the same direction as i am having the theta double dot i am going to put a negative sign here please i am just going to repeat it my acceleration is let's in the clockwise direction so whatever moment will be in the clockwise sense i am going to put a positive sign but on the right hand side of my 
expression similarly if the moment direction is not same as the direction of your theta double dot that sign will be negative so for the given case the direction of the theta double dot is clockwise as i have assumed but the direction of the moment because of the two forces is just opposite so the two moment will be what minus let's k1 x1 and the distance is what distance is 2l by 3 so the moment will be what 2l by 3 similarly for the second force the moment will be minus k x2 and the distance is what the distance is l by 3 so when i will rearrange or i will write the term again this is the expression i can get the value of i as there is no mass in this beam element the mass is here only and i am interested to find the moment of inertia at this point my moment of inertia will nothing but just m l square theta double dot plus i know the x1 is what my x1 is just related to the theta value and that is what 2l by 3 theta similarly x2 is what x2 is just l by 3 theta so i am going to convert the entire expression with the theta as the generalized coordinate so i'll get that the k and 2l by 3 is twice here so i will just have the 2l by 3 square theta plus k l by 3 square theta is equal to 0 so here i can again add these two terms and what i will get i will get that m l square theta double dot plus 5 by 9 k l square theta is equal to 0 so my final expression will be what m theta double dot plus 5 by 9 k theta is equal to 0 or you can just keep the equation that i theta double dot plus 5 by 9 k l square theta is equal to zero once you will have this expression you can simply get the natural frequency of the system because you are going to compare it with your general shm expression that is x double dot plus omega square x is equal to zero so when i will compare the given expression with the standard expression i know that omega square is what omega square let's for this expression will be what 5 by 9 k m is my natural frequency of the given system so this is the natural frequency we have calculated just using the newton's approach if i am going to apply the energy method what would be the solution let's check when i am going to apply the energy method please see energy method will say that there should be the summation of all the energy when i am going to give the deflection to the system the mass lets moving with amount x velocity x dot and the acceleration x double dot when the mass will move in the downward direction the first is spring is going to have a deformation x1 and the second is having x2 so my total energy will be what the total energy is the kinetic energy of this mass that will be 1 by 2 m x dot square plus potential energy of the two springs so that will be 1 by 2 k x1 square plus 1 by 2 k x2 square and when i will differentiate this i will get the expression that will be equivalent to my governing equation but here the entire expression is not in one single generalized coordinate here we are having x then x1 and x2 so what you need to do we have to convert the entire expression either x1 x2 using the similar triangle that i know that we, if this end is having displacement x and this is my x1 and this is my x2 and the l by 3 l by 3 and l by 3 i can simply write that my x1 is 2 by 3x and my x2 is x by 3 so i am going to put these two value into this expression and then i will differentiate it so my total energy will become what total energy will be 1 by 2 and when i will differentiate this expression i will get and you can see that i can just cancel out this two i can cancel out two from all the three expression as well as this x dot will go away if you will rearrange the term you will find that the final expression was m x double dot plus this is four by nine and one by nine is going to be added so i will have the five by nine k x is equal to zero you can compare that this is the exactly same expression what we have calculated just before using the newton's approach so you can see here that energy approach is pretty simple when you are having this type of problem so i would also suggest you 
that if you are having a problem when you have some beam and there is a deformation the energy approach will be a safer approach otherwise if you are expert you can use either energy approach or the newton approach i hope you have understood the problem once you are having this expression the natural frequency is nothing but this term divided by this term so here also the natural frequency by under root 5 by 9 k by m thank you